Hello guys, my name is Ian McDaniel. Today we'll be talking about my Spokane Valley neighborhood golf course. The plan design is we are going for a nine hole neighborhood golf course in kind of like a rougher area of town. But the intention was to boost the economy and kind of use the surrounding terrain and land features to make it cheap and accessible for all kinds of people of all types of classes. All right, moving on. As you can see above is kind of the concept and design I had in my mind and I wanted to you know, present that idea for you guys to visualize. As you can see, see these brown grass shrubs at the top, that is what I was going for. And that was what I was looking for when I was looking for places to build this nine hole golf course. Alrighty, here we see on the right, this is what I had in mind. Here are on the right, as you can see, I'll show my mouse. Here we go. These are the locate. This is the that grass I was talking about. And I was trying to look for a place that was flat and had, you know, to match that design that I could, then we could, because if it's flat, you can build soil bounds and add things to it, right? So that was the idea. So we could build around that sort of thing and the trees and have these shrubs. So it was a perfect spot. It's right next to the river. Those river is just beyond these trees here. I'll have a plan view to show just after that. And I think it's, you know, it's gonna be pretty family friendly and cheap because this neighborhood is not, you know, the greatest. And I think it'll, you'll see in the next slide, but this neighborhood is not the greatest. And I think it would provide, you know, a little bit of an economy boost to the area. So here's the plan view. Here we can see this, this whole area right here. That's kind of like a big open brown piece of land is the location that I found. Um, it is right next to the Spokane River, which had me a little worried at first. I was like, oh my gosh, there's gonna be some flooding. You know, are, are we even able to build there? That sort of thing. Um, but this this location fitted my, 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 my idea because it was flat and it had that, that golf course kind of style I was looking for. And it would just require a little bit of terrain excavation and um, soil deposits for it to turn out all right. Additionally, just past Trent Avenue over here, there's a, uh, there's a Spokane Police Academy. And that would also provide a pretty consistent um, income of budget for the golf course. And, and additionally, um, in terms of budget, because we're using this kind of, this kind of not, not poor grass, but you know, dry um, plant, the, the, the water expense would be much lower than a typical golf course. All right, moving on. Here it is the golf course in terms from a top down view that you would see on like a Google Maps. I got this from Google Maps here. So here's Spokane Valley just below. It's about a mile. And just to the top left, there is the police academy right there. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The police academy is right over here at this landing strip. So it's like, you know, two miles away. And so when you're done with the police academy, you can pop over to this to this golf course and it's, you know, nine holes, just go out time with your friends and it should be a good time. There is a golf course over here, but they're clearly not as cool as our golf course. Um, this is the Gonzaga University with respect to where the golf course is just to provide a kind of sense of direction and uh, orientation, not orientation, but um, sense of direction and kind of, you know, coordinates to where this is being located. Um, obviously there are some hazards to think about when building a golf course. The first thought I had was, I said this earlier, first thought I had was, shoot, we're right next to the Spokane River. Is there gonna be any flooding that could cause, you know, potential damage and, you know, costs for like a safety fund cost that we might have to be worried about. I checked data analysis that I got from um, this website. Uh, it was from uh, Spokane Open Data ArcGIS. And I was trying to figure out, you know, the, the flooding. So this is the algorithm that they, they found. And it's the, the light, that light beige here on this map, as you can see, is the flooding. And as you can see, we are chilling. We are doing just fine. There is no flooding that would happen on the golf course. Obviously there's some up here that we might have to deal with, but right here, we, we should be all right because there's no flooding from the map, from the data that I downloaded. And that was good. Additionally, this also had to, I thought about, you know, the soil cause soil is a big part of grass and um, playing on and you know there's gonna be cars and uh, golf carts driving around so i downloaded a rotable soil uh, data collection from the same um, spot and uh, this dark brown up here 
is all erodible soil. And that is additionally why this is also a great spot because there's no erodible soil in that location. Going through kind of my thought process on this, if we go back, um, I was originally gonna build it up here, up on this plateau, because this is a hill right here above this. And I was thinking, oh, we could build on this plateau. There'd be some nice, um, some nice viewpoints from up there and people would you know, have good, good pictures and things like that. But then if we go to our next slide, there's all this erodible soil in this location. And I was like, that is really hazardous. And then uh, there's a bunch of additional budget costs that we might have to consider with that sort of, with that sort of location. So I've figured this spot seems pretty good because it's, 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 it's decent and it's, it's, it's perfect for this kind of, kind of lower, we'll say lower class kind of area. And I think it'll boost the economy in, in that location as well. Um, going back to the hazards, um, on this map on the right here, we have the elevations. So the, the elevation right here is super low, the blue, that means low. It's about 568.1 feet of elevation. And up here is 880.2 feet. And that was you know, what I was considering when I was building this. I wanted a flat spot for these for this place to be built. And so right here, it's as you can see, it's super flat here. So that's why it's so good. It's such a good location. Um, and I also, you know, this is this is basically what I was going through when I was when I was trying to figure all this out. Um, let's go back here. Let's look at the. So th we'll go back just quick recap. So here's the top down view of the location. And if we go back, there's what it looks like right now. See, it's it's it just a little bit of touch up, and we're, I think we're pretty much good to go. And here, lastly, here is the concept and design I was going for on this project. Anyways, I hope you guys are excited for the Spokane Valley Neighborhood Golf Course. I think this would be a pretty cool golf course that actually got put in into real life. I think it'd be awesome. Anyway, um, thank you for listening and I hope you have a good rest of your day and I'll talk to you guys later.